Hey, hey, hey. In this video, I want to show you quickly how you import a VTL file. So VTL files are usually, uh, you, you get them when you download something from the 3D Vista market, such as one of my skin elements. But it might also be that you want to uh, create, or share a certain skin element with your colleagues. So just quickly how to create it yourself is when you have something like this. You take an element in the skin, you click here and you say export this with another PC. And basically when you do all these things, uh, you create a quick family test. And then it uh, asks you to save it somewhere and it, you generate a VTL file. Now, the opposite way is when you make a VTL file available for someone. So then you need to import this. The way to do this is you go to uh, MISC, then you say import, and you select the VTL file, open. You can say I want only skin components, hotspot, floor plans, all these things. Um, you can make your selection, and then it appears here uh, within the library. You can make it your favorite or something like that. Um, and I can just double click this. And now I have this inside my 3D Vista project. Now, this was a, sh a skin component for the VTL file extension. Uh, there is also a second extension is for the VTS. The VTS is basically the full skin. So the VTL is only a skin component, such as this little part or this part. And the VT, uh, S is for the full skin. To export the skin, basically what you do is, um, well, you can just uh, save it to your own, uh, but you can also just save it as a portable file, which means you can put it on a, the 3D Vista market or uh, share it with your colleagues. So let's do that. I call this um, uh, 360 creators skin. Save. I go to this uh, thing and here you can see the basic menu is the VTL, it's the skin component file and the VTS is the skin part. So let's just close this. And here we are uh, creating a new project. So we go create new project and here we say import skin. So and there we can select the VTS file and not the VTL. Uh, and basically you can see this is the 360 creator skin, select and there you go and this is how you import and export the skin as well so like the video if you did and uh, see you in the next video